Okay. So here we have a uh, DX9 uh, nine channel spectrum DSMX radio. Except for, uh, I believe it's acrobatic mode. The Pixhawk Cortex M4 based flight controller, Pfizer electric buzzer, red and white strobe, green and white strobe. Um, there's also a, I turn it on, oh, here it is. Looks like a, a white tail strobe, I believe. A um, couple of landing gear lights right here. That one keeps one to twist. And uh, nine channel radio, two satellite receivers, uh, pulse position modulation uh, encoder, for the PWM output of the nine channel radio. This is a GPS module with integrated uh, three axis compass. Uh, this is here, but it's not used in this configuration. This is a Castle Creations uh, uh, BEC, basically just a, a power supply. So you don't have to use your servo outputs. This is the 3DR drones um, a power input module. Uh, it returns. A, it has its own power supply that powers the flight controller, and also monitors the uh, battery voltage and current. And then uh, we have right here the Hobby King uh, flight controller, the three watt multi light, and uh, the LEDs that turn so it. So I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to grab a battery. The radio is already on. Uh, you can see that the mode 2, the throttle, is on the left here. We have the aileron, elevator, rudder, the gear channel. Altitude hold. Loiter mode. Altitude hold. Stability mode. Simple. Return home. Simple. Stability mode. Some of the modes uh, we have uh, aux three on this switch, uh, aux one on this switch. The gear and the other channel there are, are set up for, and the flight mode switch are set up to change the different flight modes. And then the I button, right back here, which is the bind button, the trainer button. I know it's the, the lighting's bad in here, but I want to show the lights off. So the I button is used to set the mode on the Hobby King. Uh, I thought it was proportional to the PWM input on the channel, but it really isn't. It's just a, a, a switch type thing that you select between one of the eight modes that are on the unit. So in that case, the bind button made the most sense because I could just push it to toggle the, to change the mode from it so it's just a momentary push button switch so that's where that made the most sense to put that on the channel and just as a side note this PPM encoder is an eight channel device so using it on the nine channel radio is fine as long as I've only got the eight channels going into the PPM encoder so it actually works out perfect for the nine channel receiver here because we've got the um, servo output on the ninth aux four channel going to the light controller so I can just easily use that independently of the flight controller. So we've just got a uh, 5 amp hour battery that one half of a two pack that I use for 4S uh, RC car configuration. I think some boats, RC boats and stuff too. Um, whoops, let me grab this battery. So I'm going to power the Pig's Hawks Pickhawks with a um, Pickhawks with a uh, 3S battery, just an old one that I have from my 
helicopter days. Pooches. This is the PPM encoder. The radio has a lock. Um, the lights are turned off, so they're not on right now. And plus, I don't have a battery connected for that. The uh, flight controller is not probably all that happy. This is the safety switch, which is just a brilliant addition to a flight controller. I think it's Besides that, and the full music generator in the PixHawks code already is uh, it's a real winner in my book. I didn't have to rewrite a melody generator, so I was happy for that. Now I'm just going to connect the lights up to a two-cell uh, battery that I'm using from my RC cars. There we go. And we'll go ahead and turn it on. Ah, blinded. Blinded by the lights, hey? Eh? So we've got a couple of the landing gear lights here. They just kind of fade in and out. We'll start with a different mode. We'll change the different mode here. We'll just go to off. Here we go. So we've got the Pixhox controller. We'll just try this first mode here. So we have the navigation lights on solid the strobes all flashing at a certain rate this is the back uh, input that's going to towards the tail and then we have a beacon light here the landing gear lights and then of course the all the three strobes are going at the same pace same rate Let's go to the different mode and we get uh, kind of everything's blinking the, but the Lights here are fading on and off. These This always happens pretty much, I think, for most of the modes except for off and maybe, I don't know, all on. I don't know if it's all on or if it always fades, but off, they'll turn off. Beacon light again. And then these left and the right channels here go according to uh, at the same rate and with all the strobes going. And then we've got the other mode. We've got the lights fading here the back light the back beacon here whatever uh, the tail light is solid on beacons always blinking red at that rate and then we have alternating left with strobe and then right with strobe and the other mode and this looks like it's just kind of all over the place just kind of blinking I don't know what the pattern is for that but the rear light is on the beacons always flashing and these landing lights are fading. These lights are just all on. Everything is pretty much on and uh, the landing lights are still fading though so you can always recognize those. This one I think makes maybe a circular pattern or some such thing. This is kind of just everything is blinking maybe alternating halves. I haven't figured out the pattern but the landing gear light alternates with some of the other with the I don't know. I don't know how it works. <laughs> and all on and then off. 